Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared another video about forensic genetics and here is a problem. You are a technician at forensic company. Juliet hires you to determine the paternity of her child. There are two potential fathers of the child, Alex and Hugo. You obtain DNA samples from Juliet, her child, Alex and Hugo. You use PCR to genotype Juliet, her child Alex and Hugo at the polymorphic locus PS6. The PS6 locus is shown below as a gray box along with 10 basis pairs of flanking uh, sequence on each side of the PS6 locus. Which set of primers shown below would you use to amplify the PS6 locus circle the one primer set? few words about the technique itself. So uh, we use codes in order to find uh, suspect for example or uh, find who is the uh, father of the child. Uh, codes system using 13 uh, chromosomes out of uh, 23 pairs of chromosomes uh, where we have variable number of tandem repeats. So, for example, on chromosome number two, uh, you may have uh, seven repeats here, I may have five repeats here. More than that, we have uh, all our chromosomes uh, represented in pairs. So we have two chromosomes number one, two chromosomes number two, two chromosomes number three, and so on. So 23 pairs of chromosomes. That means that on uh, chromosome number two, on one of uh, these chromosomes we may have uh, uh, seven repeats, for example, that you got from mother's side and on the other chromosome number two that you got from the father's side you may have different number of tandem repeats, for example, two, three or five. So that means that we may get different combinations for each uh, chromosome pair here. In order to find uh, how many repeats we have here. We have a unique uh, flanking sequence uh, for each uh, locus and we can replicate such sequence thousands and millions of times so later we can run a gel and uh, different such loci would separate because they would have different number of tandem repeats. But first of all we have to prepare unique primers that flank uh, this sequence in order to multiply this sequence in uh, hundreds and thousands and uh, sometimes in millions of copies. So as you see we have four sets here and we have to choose the correct answer. If you uh, think that you can solve this problem you may pause video here try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. In order to solve this problem, everything you have to know that uh, uh, DNA or RNA grows from 5 prime end to 3 prime end. So imagine that this is ribose in RNA or deoxyribose in DNA and here we have 5 prime end and this is would be our first uh, uh, base and two bases would be two sugar rings would be connected through phosphodiester bond so here we would have three prime end and uh, this end would be beginning of any DNA chain or RNA chain and as you see, three prime end in any DNA or RNA molecule would be the last free end of the molecule. So once again, if we have one more sugar here, the sugar would have uh, five carbons in it. Let's count them. This is going to be carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three carbon number 4 and carbon number 5. So if we move this um, 
base here. So now this would be connected with phosphodiester bond to the previous um, molecule to its uh, three prime end. And here we would have once again uh, three prime end loose here and five prime end here would be connected to this three prime end. So in any molecule with the DNA or RNA we would find uh, five prime end and three prime end and this is going to be uh, beginning start and this is going to be end of the molecule. So uh, DNA or RNA molecule grows in this direction from uh, loose 5 prime end to loose 3 prime end on the other end. So now when you know this information we can easily solve this problem. So as you remember uh, DNA molecule uh, is reverse parallel that's why here we have loose 3 prime end on and on the other um, complementary uh, strand we have uh, 5 prime end here and 5 prime end here and 3 prime uh, on the other strand of the DNA. So as you see different variants of the sets of the primers are possible here but which one we should use in order to design our primers, everything we have to remember that uh, DNA molecule grows from 5 prime end to 3 prime end. So uh, as you see, uh, for example, for this strand of the DNA, if we design a new primer, it's going to be 3 prime end here and 5 prime end here. So would we be able to replicate this strand of the DNA if we design such a primer? No, we cannot, because uh, if we design such a primer, this primer would go in, in this direction, and uh, of course we wouldn't be able to replicate this part of the DNA molecule. So uh, let's now consider this uh, flank of the DNA, uh, and uh, we would have 5 prime end here and uh, 3 prime end here for the primer if we construct it. And as you see, our primer would start growing from 5 prime end to 3 prime end and would grow until the end of the molecule. So this is a correct primer. So this is first correct primer. Now let's consider, for example, uh, other strands of the DNA because we have to replicate both strands of the DNA. So uh, here we would have three prime end and five prime end here uh, because uh, this would be complementary um, strand of the DNA to this one. So uh, once again, uh, direction here would be from five prime end. To three prime end, so we wouldn't be able to replicate this part of the uh, DNA. So we cannot use this um, such primer. So we cannot use such primer. We cannot use such primer. So let's consider uh, now uh, this flanking sequence as uh, second primer. So we would have five prime end here and 3 prime end here and uh, our uh, DNA strand would grow in this direction so we would be able to replicate the whole DNA molecule. So this is going to be our second correct primer. Now let's uh, find the sequence for the primer and uh, primer sequence should be complementary to this one. So what does it mean? That means that if we have uh, on one strand C in our primer, we would have G. If we have uh, next T in our primer, we would have A. And then T, 
T C G A C T and G. So this is going to be our one primer and sequence of the second primer would be um, G T A C A G T G A and C. So C and this is going to be three prime end and our um, DNA molecule would grow in this direction. So we have one primer and this is going to be a second primer here. Let's now try to find these uh, primers in our set of primers. So the first one would be 5 prime end and GT8. So we have uh, here such primer 5 prime end and GTA. Let's consider the second one. We have 5 prime end here and GAT. This is not the set that we are looking for. Let's now consider this set. We have 5 prime end and CAT. And here we have 5 prime end and GTA. And here we have 5 prime end and GAT. So uh, we also can exclude this set of primers. And now let's consider this set of primers 5 prime end GTA, 5 prime end GTA, and the second one 5 prime end and GAT. 5 prime end GAT. So then TCG, TCG, uh, ACT. A, C, T, and G. So this one is correct. And let's check the whole sequence of this one. So G, T, A, C, A, G. G, T, A, C, A, G. And G, and uh, T, G, A, C. T, G, A, C. So this is going to be the correct set. But we may also check the last one. So we have 5 prime end and C A G. We don't have uh, C A G, so we can right away exclude this uh, set of primers. So now you know how to design primers, how to replicate a sequence between those primers, and depending how many tandem repeats we have here on the gel, if we run a gel, we are going to get uh, different uh, bands. So if we, for example, have 10 repeats here and on the other chromosome we would have 5 repeats here, so our bands would separate because uh, they are going to be of the different lengths and uh, different lengths means that when we run a gel uh, those uh, molecules that are going to be smaller would travel um, longer distance and those molecules that is going to be bigger would travel slower through the gel and uh, such um, molecules if even they would be initially in the mix they would separate uh, if we apply a current electrical current and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video and uh, see you in the next video. Goodbye.